Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and I'm going to try to be a little bit quiet because my uh, buddy just put the babies down, but I decided that it was time to make a video. Um, as you can see in the background, I have got my 3D printer rock and rolling. Um, basically, finally got them all set up, uh, well, at least plugged in, and so now I have to go through the whole calibration process again, um, and I've got my Fulgurtech pretty much dialed in, so I've been running a bunch of really fun prints of, over the last couple days here, and um, I'll share those with you actually in a video uh, upcoming soon, but there's something I wanted to share because I talked about probably a year ago or so how I was basically printing my PLA prints, and I was using um, basically 195 on my DaVinci uh, for the hot end extruder, and I was using um, painters, or not painters, uh, is it painters tape? Masking tape? Masking tape, that sounds right. Um, masking tape basically on the bed, and then no bed temperature, and I was getting really good results, and although that still holds true, um, I recently switched over my uh, technique a little bit, and the thing is with the blue painters tape, or we'll call it painters tape, I'm happy with that, blue painters tape, is that um, there's a lot of different styles of it, and this is one I picked up at Home Depot that is really smooth on the surface, almost like glass smooth with like a tiny, tiny bit of ruggedness, and um, this one, the, a lot of the prints wouldn't stick to. Um, it was like as if I was printing directly on the glass, so that one was pretty much out the window. Then there was this one that I picked up at a, um, this is at a hardware store, and this one is primarily what I've been using, and it, it holds, it grips really, really well. But if the prints are not completely, if the nozzle is not completely lined up perfectly, it will stick to this too much. And it's really difficult, even if you have your printer completely lined up well, to um, get it to not shift after like a print or two, usually when I'm removing something from the bed, even if it's still good for the next print, it still has moved just like a millimeter. Um, and so basically, I was having a lot of issues with like, as you can see, there's painter's tape on the bottom. And yeah, you could sand it off or you know, whatever, but it's a pain in the butt and it makes the prints look like crap. I mean, again, if it's on the bottom, whatever, but a lot of the prints that I've been printing, um, you know, it's like a side piece or something like that, so you obviously don't want to have blue painter's tape all over it. So, um, this is nothing new. I mean, again, this is something that's out there and a lot of people use this, but I finally switched over to it and that is just some good old-fashioned hairspray. Um, <laughs> I actually stole this from my mom, so I owe her a new hairspray. But, um, yeah, basically all I do now is completely spray a couple of layers. I can actually show you guys in a separate video if you'd like how much hairspray I'm actually using. Um, but I just cover it with one or two coats of hairspray um, directly on the glass. No temperature on the bed whatsoever, and it sticks perfectly to this. Um, and then afterwards I get a little pry tool, it snaps right off, smooth and clean as can be. And then um, I either wipe off the glass if there's like some, after a few prints it kind of builds up. So after a couple prints I'll wipe it off. But every print I basically just do two coats of it and reprint. And it is fantastic. This is how I'm going to be printing all of my uh, PLA prints from now on. So um, if you are using painter's tape, I, you know, it works for you. Good, you know, good for you. That's great. And it, it does work great. But I'm just saying that if you are looking for something new and you are kind of annoyed and tired of having the blue painter's tape sticking to your prints, I definitely recommend trying this out. It's nothing fancy. It's literally, it says suave, max hold. Um, but I've seen people use any really hairspray, so I'll try. Um, I think they, it's probably better if you get unscented. This one actually is unscented, so I got lucky. Um, but yeah, I would definitely get unscented and just try some hairspray from like your, you know, beauty supply section in a store, um, which is really nice because honestly, Painter's tape's really annoying. Um, some of this stuff's not that cheap either. I think it was like $9 for a roll, which I mean, whatever. But at the same time, I definitely think this is cheaper. And this, you know, the main thing isn't the price. It's really just the quality of the prints. So um, if you do switch over from painter's tape to the hairspray, let me know your results. Or again, if you have any questions or you'd like me to make a video actually showing me apply it. Uh, but there is a lot of really good videos out there that already show that. So um, anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. And I will basically, I've got a couple of 3D printing things I'm doing and working on that I'm really excited about. Um, you might be able to see something on my desk, I don't think so, but um, I will show you guys in the very near future, but I figured it was time for a 3D print uh, style or update or informational video, if you will. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you in my next video. Once again, this is Daniel from MyBot. Thank you so much for watching, and I am out. Peace, guys.